everybody. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here today. We're going to have an amazing class with Mr. Daniel. This class is especially for your little ones, the three months to 18 month age group. Now, of course, if you have some older kids and they want to play with us, they're more than welcome to. We'd love to see them. I just wanted to pop in real fast and remind you all about Rompy's Clubhouse. I am so excited about this. Rompy's Clubhouse is an online subscription service where you and your little ones get to come in and play with us, your teachers, from home. We also have activity kits where we mail all of the supplies you need for art classes to your door, one class a week, exclusive classes. We also have activities that you can do at home with all ages, getting your little ones worn out, getting to do your favorite activities over and over again, and those are all exclusive at rompysclubhouse.com. All right, everybody, I think I hear some bells coming. You ready, Mr. Daniel? Hi, come on in. Bells are ringing, bells are ringing. Hear them chime, hear them chime. Calling all the children, calling all the children. It's gym class time. It's gym class time. Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon if you're watching this on delay. We are going to have a really fun day today. We are going to be bouncing up and down, and we're going to be escaping a parachute. If you don't have a parachute at home, that's okay. Just find yourself a very, very light sheet, something that can comfortably go over top of your little one's head, because we are going to try and escape. And you know what? What do you say we get started? We have to call out our dog, Rumpy. So, we are going to sit our little ones in our laps, and we are going to put our hands out to the side. Whoosh! And now we're going to rock from side to side, and we're going to sing a song. It goes, oh, where, oh, where can Rompy be? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his big brown eyes and his waggly tail. Let's wag our tails. Oh, where? Oh, where can he be? I know. Let's count to three. And then we'll say, come out, Rumpy. You ready? Here, let's try. One, two, three. Come out, Rumpy. I mm. wonder if he's behind there. Let's try. Hey, Rumpy. Oh. Not there. Uh, hey, Rumpy! Ah, there you are. <laughs> Rumpy loves to say hello. So, we're gonna sing our hello song. Let's rock our little ones side to side once more. And this time we're gonna sing. Oh, here we are at Rump and Roll, at Rump and Roll, at Rump and Roll. Oh, here we are at Rump and Roll. We're gonna go whoosh. And now, let's wiggle their hands and jiggle their hands. We're going to say, get ready for some fun. And fun with Matthias and fun with Lucas. <laughs> Hi, guys. And fun with Hafsa and fun with Ibrahim <laughs> and fun with William and fun with Brinley. <laughs> And fun with Penny, and fun with Claire, and fun with Elena, and fun with Emma, and fun with Tristan, and fun with Mr. Daniel, oh, Rompy, and fun with Rompy. Ready, one more time. Let's rock back and forth, and we're gonna sing Oh, here we are at Rump and Roll. Now let's go whoosh. We're going to wiggle our hands and jiggle their hands and say, get 
ready for some fun! And like I said, we are going to have so much fun today. But you know what? I want to share with you one really silly story. We're going to call out our story from our backpack. Whoop, right here. You ready? We're going to pat our little one's hands just like so. And we're going to do a little chant. You ready? Here we go. Let's say, what's in the backpack? What's in the backpack? What's in the backpack? Let's all look. You know what? <clears throat> Today, our story is called, Sometimes I Like to Curl Up in a Ball. And you know what? We can curl up our little one in a ball too, just like this. We're going to hold them just like so. And then we're going to bring our arms or our hands just below the knees. And we're going to bring those knees up just like so. Not really squeezing, just getting us to just the end feel, just the point where you start to feel a little bit of resistance and then hold it and stop right there. We can rock a little bit to make it a little bit more soothing. And then down, oof, good. Here, let's see what this book's all about. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball so no one can see me because I'm so small. It looks like he's hiding. Sometimes I like to jump as high as I can to see how much noise I make when I land. You know what? We can practice doing a little bit of jumps and bounces right now. We're going to go like this. Boing holding our little ones on our knees. Right now, our jumping skills are really more about our core, our back, and our neck muscles, being able to hold ourselves up. So we're gonna do some bouncing. Boom, 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 boom. Great job. Let's see what else we can do. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to scream so, uh, ever so loud, not that I'm cross. I just like how it sounds. And you know what? We can make a little bit of noise too. If your little ones are older, we can start by going la 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 la. La 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 la. la. Your turn. <gasps> Lovely. Let's see what else we can do. Sometimes I like to just walk round and round. I pigeon step. Pigeon step till I fall down. Now our little ones might not be up and walking around, but we can start by moving our legs one and then the other, just like this. Hup, 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 in a nice reciprocal motion, using both sides of our brain to talk to both sides of our body as we go one, two, one, two. And then we fall down, whoa! How silly. <laughs> hey, let's see what else we can do. Sometimes I like to stand still as a tree and watch everyone rush round about me. Huh, look, they're standing very, very still. Now, sometimes our little ones are maybe not at the point where they can pull themselves up, but we can also uh, try planting uh, our little ones firm feet on the ground. The important part of that is to make sure that we are giving them proper support around their trunk. Remember that at this age group, our uh, trunk stability, our riding reactions are still developing. But one way that you can do this is activate a nice primitive reflex. I like if you kind of just have a little bit of pressure going right on the top of the foot, there'll be a natural reaction to go like this. And that can help us play it on the ground. So one thing I like to do if we're practicing doing some supported standing is to hold them by here, just do a little bit of a swoosh forward, and plant. That's a great way to get your little one to get used to putting their feet out. Boom, and plant. Ready one more time. We're going to go swoop, boom. Nice job. Here. 
Let's see what else we can do. Sometimes I like to poke out my tongue and make funny faces. Now that can be fun. And you know what? Looking at my face in a mirror always makes me laugh. And so can your little ones. What, next time you're at, around, let's find a mirror. In fact, you know what? Let's do that next week. We're gonna grab a mirror and then we are gonna make some silly faces like smiling or angry or hmm, inquisitive. <laughs> Here, let's see what else we can do. Sometimes I like to get in a real mess with mud on my feet, my hands and my chest. Oh my goodness, I bet your little one loves to make a big mess too. It is a great sensory and tactile play, but we also get to take a bath. When I need to take a bath, I like to do some baby sign language signs, like this. I'll take two scrubby brushes, and then I will scrub right on my chest, just like this. We're gonna do that. Scrubby brush for bath time. Now, teaching baby sign language, as we remember last week, uh, it takes a couple of steps and a lot of patience. Uh, being able to do baby sign language, uh, is the, our ability to understand language comes long before our ability to express it. So, uh, repetition is key. Also, helping them go hand over hand, moving their hands as they do the sign. But the most important thing is to give it meaning. Until bath means sitting in my tub with uh, scrubby bubbles, it it's just some sounds, bath. To give it meaning, I recommend working on this sign, bath. Bath. While you're in the bath. Let's see what else we can do. <laughs> sometimes I like to run ever so fast. I sometimes come first but I sometimes come last, and that's okay. You know what? We are going to practice running with our arms. Let's get some reciprocal arm motion. Uh, let's get some reciprocal motion in our arms, going one, two, one, two, like this. I'm running. One, two, run, two, run, two, run, two. All right, everyone, are you ready for a baby race? On your mark, get set. Go! Run two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Oh no, I'm pulling ahead. Oh no, it's rompy by your nose. Let's see what else we can do. But when the day ends and the sun starts to fall, then I do what I do best of all. I find somewhere soft, somewhere cozy and small. And that's where I like to curl up in a ball. You know what? Doing all these exercises right before nap time is going to uh, help us a lot more than doing a bunch of exercises right when we wake up. So one of the things I love about trying these videos is that you can play them whenever you want. My recommendation is to do some of these exercises just before your regular nap time. Hey, you know what? What do you say we do some exercises right now? We are going to do some lap ride songs. And that means more of that bouncing and jumping that I was referring to earlier. Here at Romp and Roll, we do a lot of work on our core and our back and our neck muscles because they're very important muscle groups for stability and uh, for uh, just making the world a little less wobbly. So let me show you some of my favorite songs right now. We're going to sit on the ground. With our grown-ups, your legs are gonna be outstretched like so. Whoop. Hoop. And then we're going to place our little ones right here on our laps. Now you'll notice Rompy is a little bit farther away from me. He's not leaning on me for support. That's because I'm making it his job to hold himself up. Now, we're going to hold him by his hips. That way, any place above where my hands are, it's his job to hold himself up. Let's see if we can bounce up and down. And we're going to sing a song about driving down 
a very smooth road. So I'm gonna do nice, smooth, easily predictable movements. As I say, we're going down a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. We're going down a smooth road to get to romp and roll. Now wait, let's see if we can make that road a little bit bumpier, okay? So we're gonna do one leg and then the other leg. Boom, 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 boom. So now we're gonna be going kind of side to side, just like so. We're going down a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. Going down a bumpy road to get to romp and roll. Now what do you say we make this a very, very rough road? We're gonna go all the way up, whoop, boom. And then all the way down, kaboom. Ready? We're going down a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. We're going down a rough road. Uh-oh, here, hold up top, because here comes the big drop. We're gonna go, uh-oh, pothole, kaboom. Nice. Well, now that we've done that, what do you say we try and go all the way through without stopping? Here, on your mark, start your engines. Here we go. We're going down a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. We're going down a smooth road to get to romp and roll. We're going down a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. We're going down a bumpy road to get to romp and roll. We're going down a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. We're going down a rough road. Uh-oh, pothole, kaboom. Nice one. Hey, what do you say we do one more game? We are going to grab a parachute. Now, if you don't have a parachute at home, that's okay. A small sheet or a blanket will work just fine. Just make sure it's not too heavy of a blanket. Why? Because we are gonna be hiding our little ones inside, just like so. Roop. Oh no. Where did Rompy go? You know, in order to get, for Rompy to get out, he is gonna have to figure out how to move his arms to bat that out of the way. And that's gonna make us do a couple of things. One, we're gonna have to lift our arms up over our head. And that is one of the first, most early steps to helping ourselves get helped being dressed. It's also really great for self-care. Also, the more that we're moving around, the more we're uh, getting some input into our arms, which is going to help us pay attention to how our arms are moving. So this is also a really beginning exercise for some coordination. Here. I'm gonna disappear for a while. Hopefully I'll be able to find my way out. See you soon. Uh-oh, um. Let's bat, bat, bat. Oh, I made it. Here, Rompy's turn. Ready, set. Oh no, where's Rompy? Now of course, Rompy may just sit here for a little bit. That's okay. We're gonna make sure that we're calling out, letting Rompy know that there is definitely a world that still exists on the other side of this parachute. So Rompy, where are ya? Rompy, I see ya. Now Rompy is pretty brave. He's gonna bat that all him, his own. But if your little one decides that they would rather get some help and you'll hear them cry out for help, this is a good opportunity to swoop in and let them know that it's all okay. Here, let's try one more time, you ready? Go up. Rompy, where'd you go? Where's Rompy? Bat, 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 bat. <gasps> you made it. All right, one last turn. My turn. Whoop. Bat, 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 bat. Now your turn. Oh no, where'd everyone go? Whoop. <sighs> oh, how silly. And you can keep doing this at home if you would like. But for us, it's time for us to sing our goodbye song. You ready? Let's hold our little ones in our laps once more. And we're going to rock from side to side. And we're gonna sing. Oh, let's take our little hands and go clap, 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 clap. Clap, let's take our little hands and go. Clap, 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 clap. 
Now let's take our little feet and go stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp, 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 let's take our little feet and go. Stomp, 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 stomp. Now let's take our little arms. We're going to cross our body just like this. And we're going to do a trunk rotation like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ready? Let's take our little arms and go. Hug, 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 hug. Hug, 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 let's take our little arms and go. Hug, 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 hug. Let's take our little hands and wave. Bye, 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 bye. Let's take our little hands and wave. Bye, 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 we'll see you here next time. Goodbye, Aria. Good. Bye, Avery. Goodbye, Layla. We'll see you here next time. Goodbye, Madeline. Goodbye, Harper. Goodbye, Caleb. We'll see you here next time. Goodbye, Connor. Goodbye, Mia. Goodbye, Jesse. And goodbye, Wes. We'll see you here next time. Goodbye, Mr. Daniel. Goodbye, Rompy. And goodbye, everybody. We'll see you here next time. I hope you had such a great job today. But I want to introduce you to my best friend in the entire world, Miss Allison. Hi. 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 Hi, hi. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm doing good. You seem very, very excited today. What are you so excited about? I'm very excited, Mr. Daniel. Have you heard the news? I know you were busy teaching earlier when I was talking about it. Have I heard the news? No, <gasps> what's the news? The news is that we are now able to teach small classes to all of our friends out there at home. Oh. We get to see them play and we get to play with them teaching those little ones, watching them in their living room or in their playroom or in their bedroom or even in their kitchen. Well, see, that would require some sort of setup where we have a camera and they have a camera and that we'd have to go online and chat some way over video. How do we do that? Well, super simple, Mr. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> All we have to do is go to rompiesclubhouse.com. We have some membership options for you. We have our bonus content at one starting at $10 a month where you can just see your simple classes or for $69 a month, have those small group classes with us, your instructors. And we'll also make it special just for you and your little one. So if you have one that is three to 18 months and you're kind of confused or want to know more about these activities, we're here to help you. We're here to make sure that you have all the tools you need to help your little one learn through play. This is very exciting. I, uh, to be like, completely honest, I have missed everybody so much. And so being able to actually see the little ones playing at the other end is uh, going to be really, really just, it's going to feel like having a class again. And I love oh, that. I know. Yeah. I miss playing with the little <laughs> ones. I know you do too. I know you all miss playing with your instructors as well. So head over to rompiesclubhouse.com. Sign up today. You get some awesome perks, awesome benefits, that bonus content, exclusive classes, um, and we also mail you a really cool package when you first sign up. Wait, wait, a really cool package? Yeah, we have some surprise stuff so that you can play along with us, of course. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just have to go to rompiesclubhouse.com to figure out what that means. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for coming and joining us this morning or whenever you're here watching. Uh, we hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you all next week for Magic and Mythical Beasts. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next time.